Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. In this edition, we explore something uh, from Braxton Creek called a Free Solo Plus Romo. And right here we have uh, the layout and some of the specs. You can pause this video at any time for your visual pleasure. By the way, these are the specifications for the Bushwhacker Plus 15FK. I think, I think it's uh, exactly the same as a Free Solo Plus Romo. This is Jesus Manuel Menegares. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm at Explore USA as usual because it's the nearest RV dealership to my house. So I do a lot of uh, videos on their product line. Down the street, uh, the highway that way, about uh, 15 miles, is Motorhome Specialists and uh, other RV dealerships, Camping World. Next door that way is McLean's RV. And so I'm in the middle of it. If you go down that road, about 10, 15 miles is uh, Vought RV and United RV. So we've got quite a few dealerships here. Let me turn around the camera. I'm going to do something uh, relatively puny, small, easy to tow, super easy to tow. Let's check it out right now. Hey, there it is, the Free Solo. Got one over here. Of course, as you very well know, Explore USA RV Supercenter is right off the highway. So here's a shot of the unit. Get one uh, propane tank, you get a manual uh, jack, and an area there for storage, like uh, one or two batteries at least. A little bit of a rock guard there. Here's a tight shot. If you want to go simple, this is the way to go. And as uh, some of those folks uh, who do RV reviews of small R RVs or travel trucks say, it's huge inside, it's huge inside. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. There's a fresh water connection, solar on the side, and your dumps are right here. Let's see if this thing is, uh... yes. It's not sealed underneath, it's just everything's exposed. So, there's the access panels for the refrigerator, your heating exhaust, and you get some uh, Westlake tires, some rugged Westlake tires. City water connection, 30 amp, your hot water, and of course, uh, your outdoor shower. Get some windows here. The air conditioning vents right up there in your air conditioning units right on top. At least I think that's an air conditioning unit, yeah. That's that little tiny air conditioning unit. In the back, they have an OG unit which has the uh, outdoor kitchen, but this one does not. It has it inside. So in case it's raining, no problem. You got some basic stab jacks. Here's a view from the side. So the whole roof looks like it's fiberglass from my perspective. Let's see what this gigantic, huge inside pass-through storage is like, okay? Ooh, it has clips, old school clips. You don't see them much. So it goes back about a good four feet. It's a good size. And it's about three feet wide. Let me show you inside again. Get a little bit of storage here. Let me drop this clip. Lock this up. Here's some of your alternating current right there. The clip. Your tires. Another window. What do you think of these free solo graphics? Do you like them? And again, this is the Romo. The Romo. You have a, a light up there. You have... Uh, one little step there. Freshwater drain supposed to be under here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. There it is, a freshwater drain and a basic. Looks like a basic axle, but then again, it might be a Torflex. I do not know. I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like a Torflex to me. Wow, that looks good. And the funny part of this is that this unit.
has a capacity to carry 560 kilograms or 1,235 pounds. I dare you to hold this to that <laughs> amount. So let's take a peek inside. You got your microwave, you got some storage right there, you got your kitchen. And to the left, you got your uh, dining room slash sofa area slash bedroom. And you got your dometic refrigerator with some controls right there and your heater down there and your bathroom right over there. And there's that air conditioner we were talking about. Is it any quieter now? Okay. So you get the pleated basic shades here. And you get one, two, three, four cushions around here. And you got this little shelf up there. Let me open this up. That's pretty good. It goes back about a foot, about two feet wide, about two feet high. Very nice. You get some speakers. You get your lights here. Speakers. Your, uh, your warning. I don't know if it's for... Uh, carbon monoxide might be for just a fire so this is a nice looking table I like this table and it attaches right there right against the wall there let's open up this uh, huge inside RV refrigerator let's open it up it's huge inside it's definitely a propane gas you know propane electric refrigerator and of course, right below it is the heater. So it's pretty small. It's a Dometic unit. Your similar controls here for... Uh, let me get my camera center first of all. Radio, USB, HDMI, time, zone A, zone B. It's a Jensen unit. Has, uh, looks what looks like uh, HDMI and USB. Very nice. And this is the unit up here. It's a Frigidaire. It's supposed to be very energy efficient. It's pretty basic. You have the uh, cooling here, the fan mode here. Should work. And then you have this little storage over here. Of course, you can always add some bungees here and make it work really nice. Let's check out the kitchen. Over here you have your controls to check your uh, levels, your water pump, your water heater, and another water heater. You have two water heaters and then you have your GVFCI, you know, receptacles. You have a two burner stove top and it's flat. It's not raised, which is a good thing. There's your stainless steel uh, sink and then you have a microwave, which will work off a of shore power, of course. Let's open this up. It's a great spot to put a little odds and ends, your chemicals, your clean supplies, etc., etc. So you can't take too much, even though uh, apparently this unit can, you know, haul almost about 1,300 pounds. That's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. Then we have the restroom over here. I'm going to sit down there in a second, but first got to show you this. You get a Max Air fan. So you get a Max Air fan or a fantastic fan, I can't tell. And then you got the air conditioning unit. So I'm inside this unit. I'm going to go sit down in this toilet, see if I can actually fit. Ugh, I have to actually step in. Step in. Ah. Man, sure creaks, this little plastic toilet. Sure. sure creaks. Can I stand up in the shower? Let's see. Oh, I'm 5 feet 10, 175 pounds of ugliness. Ah, if you're 5 foot 5, I have a friend that's 5 foot. He was in New Mexico. He can fit in here, no problem. And then you have a little step to get down. Yeah, you have a little step. You have a little step. Ooh. There you are. Let me 
Let me convert this to a bid. Actually, I didn't convert it into a bid. I just went into the next unit, which was already converted into a bid. I apologize. I cheated. So you got a little headboard there. There you are. That's a pretty good size bed. I could probably fit in there. Wow, this is a small unit. You get a small review. But it's huge inside. <laughs> There's one guy who's super popular on uh, on the internet. Everything's huge inside, especially if it's small. It's, it's gigantic. <laughs> I laugh every time I see this. Uh, title. I don't even watch his videos, but I just laugh and laugh and laugh. So I hope you like this uh, modest review of a very modest travel trailer I saw at Explorer USA RV Super Center right off of I-35 West in Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Well, I just uh, escaped the uh, ERCOT uh, snowstorm, the ice storm. My pipes did not freeze. I did not lose electricity. Thankfully, 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 me, my wife, and I survived the Texas ERCOT snow and ice storm, the disaster of 2021 February. Hope you're doing well wherever you're at. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, again, only if you have the time. If you don't have the time, I understand. Please leave your kind and super friendly comments uh, below the description. And if you have the time and a little bit of cash, check out my uh, Patreon page, patreon.com slash JMM Garza. Thank you very much. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been a Susman with Mena Garza as I sit on the uh, bed here. Again, I hope you're doing fantastic. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.